Cypher. Legal name or is that your? Yeah, that's my rap name. <laughs> <laughs> so, like the chain. I appreciate that. Where appreciate that. Why music? Why music? That's a, that's a. I don't know. Ever since I was a kid, like I I grew up in Jamaica, so y'all know I started listening to rap music back in '08, and. Uh, I don't know. I just fought with rap music, to be honest. I've always wanted to do rap music, like, ever since I was a jit. So, yeah. Mainly because I want... At first, I wanted to be famous. Honestly, but then I got in tune with, like, mixing and, like, the whole, like, technical part of making music. And I just fell in love, to be honest. Did you have any influences when you were in Jamaica? Yeah. Uh, Who was the one person you is most memorable to you? Travis Scott. Travis Why? Scott. The bald headed Travis. Not not bald headed, like the low cut Travis Scott though. Not the not the braids Travis Scott. I'm talking about like six, seven years ago, Travis Scott, to be honest. What's your favorite Travis Scott song? Uh I don't got a favorite song. I got a favorite album. I got a favorite album. Um Days Before Rodeo. 2014. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, getting back to music, what most excites you when you're creating a project? Like, what a is project. the most fun part of it? Um, project song. It's the whole process, to be honest. Cause like, I make all my beats. You know, I make, I do all the mixing and mastering. I do all of that. So, the, honestly, the whole process. But if you had to choose one, because you got to choose one. Mixing. Mixing. Who would you say is the best producer out there? And you like, who would you want to work with At the if moment, you had to choose one? If you could choose one. If I could choose one. That's a hard one, because I got a lot of favorites. Um, Think about it like if the world was ending and you had to make one bomb ass song and the world would not end. If you does, it, does it have to be a producer? Does it, can yeah. it be an artist? Not a producer. A producer. Metro Boomin. Metro Boomin. Gotta go with that. Now, fuck it. Hold on. It gotta be 808 Mafia. The whole 808 Mafia or Metro Boomin. Why? Because I grew up on most like... Most of my favorite Travis Scott's and most of my favorite songs overall is from Metro Woman and Southside from 808 Mafia. So, like, it's production. So, yeah. And, I, you know, they just got the best production to me, to be honest. All right. So, let's get back to you. What is your most popping song out right now? Overdosing. Well... That's my most streamed song. But, yeah, I say Overdosing. That's my biggest song. What was the inspiration behind it? Uh, Travis Scott and Kid Cudi. I just listened to, listened to a lot of uh, Kid Cudi mm -hmm. and a lot of Travis Scott. So, yeah. The hook came from a Kid Cudi song. The Day and Night, mm -hmm. that came from a Kid Cudi song. Yeah, so. Is it hard for you to... Write lyrics, or does it just come naturally? Fuck no. That's just natural. What is your best line? Best line? Ah, fuck. That's a hard one. That's the, a hard like, one. Like, when you wrote it down, like, what left you, like, saying, like, damn. Like, like, damn. I got a sure. lot, to be honest. Give me a couple. Uh. Fuck, what, 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 what would I use? I don't know, like right now, it's kind of hard for me to think of because I got a lot, like my SoundCloud got a hundred songs on it right now and all them songs I love, so. And I got a lot of bars in most of them, so. It's hard for me to choose. We could get back to that though. So, would you ever go back to Jamaica? 
Fuck yeah, I'm going back this summer. This summer, I know it's gonna be lit. Do you consider yourself a pioneer of like rap over there? Yeah. And I'm I'm gonna say this respectfully. All credits to all the Jamaican rappers and shit, but they know this is a fact. Like that that rap shit in Jamaica, I was one of the first. I wouldn't say I was one of the first to ever rap from Jamaica, but like to be known as a rapper from Jamaica and like like locally, I was one of the first. Respectfully to all the artists out there though. Cause I fuck with a lot of them. I got a couple of rappers in Jamaica that I really fuck with. That like I, I even got songs coming out of Jamaica right now. So like, traditionally Jamaica's known for reggae and dance you song. do rap. Mm-hmm. Do you see yourself venturing into other genres, just you know, dipping your toe in just to see what it's like? Uh I'm gonna do a a, a reggae song one day. It's gonna be like a crossover, like reggae and hip hop mixed. It's not gonna be just full on reggae because I don't know how to do that shit, to be honest. Do you see yourself doing any other genre besides rap? Rap? Nah, probably EDM. If my nigga Carnage, hey, shout out to Carnage though. If Carnage hits me up one day, I'm down to do it. Carnage, hit me up. Or DJ Hook It and Waka Flocka. To be honest, like they they got some bangers when it comes to EDM, so I'm trying to get like that. To be honest, that's just fire. Shout out to them. So let's get let's get talking about about the outfit you got going on. What inspired this look today? Travis Scott. So you like Travis Scott a lot. I'm the biggest Travis Scott fan. If you were to meet Travis Scott and you had one sentence to say to him, that would be memorable. What would you say to him? Give me a chance. Listen to my music and let me know what you think of it. If you love it, sign me. Please, sign me now. I swear to God. So you want to get signed? To Travis Scott or Kanye West. It got to be Travis Scott or Kanye West, nobody else. Would you ever get signed to a label? Yeah, if it's Travis Scott or Kanye West. <laughs> <laughs> Cactus Jack uh, or uh, Good Music. Yeah. So, now that you're in Florida, and you've seen what's been going on with all these rappers, mm -hmm. what do you got to say about them? I fought with them. Like, I'm one of the the, the supporters of the, 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 the Florida um wave right now. Because, fact is, everybody knows this. Last year, and for the past, like, seven years... Atlanta was running rap music. Like, they was running the rap scene. But now, you got to admit it. Florida take, like is taking over right now. Florida is taking over right now. So, mm -hmm. another rapper from Florida, we all know, Kodak Black. Yeah. Recently got locked up. What do you think about that? Damn, I fought with the homie, to be honest. Like, I'll, I've always wanted to meet Kodak Black. I was a big fan of Kodak Black since, like, what? 2014, yeah, when he dropped like Skrilla and and No Flocking, I was a big fan. I'm still a big fan. Like, shout out to homie. Um, just hold your head down, bro. You think he'll ever get out soon enough to keep continuing to do music? I don't even know, cause that nigga got a lot of charges. But I don't want to speak on that though. But hey, keep your head up, bro. Keep your head up. Do you think that in the future you would find yourself in one of the situations that he got himself into? Nah, because see, Kodak Black is a street nigga. I'm not a street nigga. I didn't grow up in the streets. Like, where I came from was dangerous, but it was like the good side of the dangerous neighborhood. So I didn't have to worry about like gunshots or, you know, like shootouts or nothing like that. I was, I was straight. Kind of, I'd, I'd say I'm a suburban kid. Yeah. At what point in your career would you consider yourself successful? What would be the pinnacle? Successful. The day I get to buy my mama a house, a Benz, 
put on all my family members to like business and like got enough money where I don't have to work again. I could just chill if I want. Cause honestly, when I get rich, I'm gonna stop. If like if I get super rich before I say like 30, I'm, I'm just gonna lay back and play games, video games. So what you're saying <laughs> is eventually there's a point where you're gonna stop doing music. You're not gonna be like Snoop Dogg who, you know. Nah. Fuck no. Hey, you know, like, I want people to notice, like, regardless of what you're doing, sometimes, at some point, it's going to get tiring. That's a fact. I don't want to be 50 and still rapping. I want to be rich before I'm 30. Before I'm 25, to be honest. And I, I'm 20 right now. So, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to be 30, 35 and rapping. Nope. That's not for me. So, once you retire from rap, is there something else that you think you are more interested in that you might pursue? Video gaming. Dizzy? Video gaming. Uh, I like first person shooting games. I'm a big video gamer. So, I might, if, if, if I stop uh, rapping, either I'm still going to be in the studio producing I'm going to be playing video games just daily, <laughs> to be honest. So, if, question, if you're not going to be rapping, would you still be producing? Yeah. Would you have, like, your own label going on and, you know, managing other people? Yeah. Definitely. Definitely. Would you cater to all genres or just rap? Depends. Cause that's that's like years from now, so I don't know. Stuff might change, you know. Can you remember what your very first setup looked like? Mhm. Mm what did it consist of? It was a a desktop mic, desktop microphone, a Dell laptop, Dell uh, Inspiron laptop, and some little baby speakers. And, and I was just going on YouTube and getting instrumentals from Cash Money AP. Shout out to Cash Money AP. How do you think that those songs from years ago when you first <laughs> Garbage. <laughs> Garbage. Swear to God. Would you ever redo Garbage. them? Garbage. Fuck no. Garbage. The yes. beats were garbage. The lyrics were garbage. Somehow I just, I gained a lot of fans from them though. Yeah, a lot of fans from them. So, you know. What would you say is your most prized equipment? My most prized equipment, my my Apple computers. Apple computers. Yeah, cause like that's where all the magic goes down. You know. You gonna be like Kanye walking around with it? Mm, definitely, I walk around with my Apple computer. I move around with that. Yeah, you know. How do you feel about female rappers? Yeah, why you gotta hit me like that? <laughs> uh, I'm not the person that's gonna sit down and like just listen to female rap. But if it's hard, it's hard, and you got you you just gotta give credit where it's due, you know. So, you know, I, I'm gonna support you if you're good. I don't like seeing uh females doing like gangster rap. What if it was like soft rap? Rap overall, I don't like seeing females rap. Shout out to Nicki Minaj and, and, and Young and May, but I, I don't, I'm not a big fan of like females rap. What if one day you were to have a daughter and she wanted to rap? Would you stop her? Nah, that's her choice. As long as it's music, that's her choice. I'm going to support, but as long as it's, like I said, as long as it's not a uh, gangster rap. I don't, I, don't, I don't like seeing females doing gangster rap. All right, since we're on the subject of kids, what if you were to have boys? Would you want them to... Do music? Yeah. Would you influence them and push them to do it? Or would you just, look, this is what dad does. You can do whatever you want to do. Uh, soon, like, they're going to grow up with me, like, doing music. 
hopefully I'm not, I'm going to have kids before I'm 30, like I said, because I don't want to be rapping when I'm 30. So if I have him at 25, by the time I'm 30, he's going to be five. And, you know, he's going to be seeing me doing a whole bunch of like production and like music overall. So he's going to be in tune to it. So I'm pretty sure he's going to grow with it. You Can you see my shorts? No. Okay. How do you feel about pets? Would you ever get like an exotic pets? Like, you know, these people walking around with monkeys. <laughs> Fuck no. I see Sway Lee doing that and Chris Brown. I heard Chris Brown got in trouble for that. Just, like the monkey got sick or something like that. Have but, you ever done, sorry to cut you off, have you done anything crazy like... You know how people be, would be going to Walmart and, you know, be doing some dumb shit? Like on some bunk gang type of shit? Mm -hmm. Nah. Nah. Nah, my mama would whoop me. I swear to God. And my grandma would slap the fuck out of me. Can't do that. Speaking of family, does, do they support you and your music and what you're doing? All my people. Even the pet support my music. The pet supports my music. I'm telling you, like, my dad is a big fan. Uh, my mom is a big fan. My grandma, all my sisters, all, all the my bros, like my cousins, everybody, my aunties, uncles, all of them. So, are you, when it comes to making music, are you spontaneous or do you like to stick to a schedule and be organized? Or how would you describe your way of making music? Being comfortable. Being comfortable and being in my zone. I'm not the kind of person that's going to want to see a lot of faces when I'm making songs. Like, I like to be in my comfort space, my comfort zone. I like to, like, I, I so could just get on. The, you're not one of the types yeah. of people that when you go to a studio, you don't bring all your friends. It's just you nah, and the guys. It's just me. Like, I make all my music at home. And, like, I would sit on the bed and, like, have my computer right there and the mic right beside the bed. And I just make music right there. It ain't got to be on no... You know, like technical setup type of shit. As long as I could do the vocals right there and it's not gonna echo, I'm good. I'll make it right there. It's music. All right, and not being cocky, but on what level do you think of. How do I say this? How good do you think you are at making music? Not being cocky, being totally honest, because we do have room to grow and do stuff as we perfect our crafts. But at what level do you think you are from zero to 100? At the moment, I'm the best version of me. And I'm going to keep getting better. That's how I see it. At day by day, you know, like my experience, I experience more with music and I learn more about music. I learn more about production and writing and a bunch of stuff like that. So... At the moment, I'm the best version of myself. Tomorrow, I'm going to be a better version if I learn something, you know? So that's how I see it. I could really rap, though. Like, not on some cocky shit. Do you think you're better than your peers? Depends on who I consider my peers. Well, amongst the, Flor amongst the Florida rappers. <laughs> Fought with XXX, but I'm better than, like, except from XXX, I wouldn't say, like, it's it's kind of hard to say, because, like, we do, like, me and XXX, we don't do the same kind of music. I'm more in the, the, the Kanye West, Travis Scott kind of lane. XXX made a lane for himself. I'm trying to make my own lane. I'm currently working on my own lane. So XXX is a fucking beast. I fought with him. Um... Yeah, when but you get into it, like you know how he has like some emotional tracks and stuff like that. I got emotional tracks. One of my albums were like just pure emotion. But like some most type, like, most of my songs, I'll be on some cocky, ignorant shit. But one of my albums, I made like I was in a deep, dark um, place at at that point in time. So it was all about emotion. That album right now. You know. Alright. So, yeah. hopefully we see more to come from you. Yeah, definitely. You got anything you're working on right now? Uh, I got a song, I got a feature that I'm I'm, I'm gonna do uh pretty soon with, with Kai. 
from Jamaica. Shout out to Kai, by the way. Um, yeah. And I got... I just dropped a project, by the way, an EP. So I'm not going to be working on any projects right now. But... I don't know. I'm just going to be dropping a, a, a lot of singles, to be honest. Yeah, that's all. And... If we need to find you on social media. My IG, my Instagram is Cypher with a six. Replace the C with a six. My Facebook is J Cypher. Um Twitter, Cypher with the Six. Um SoundCloud J Cypher. And YouTube J Cypher. Yeah, that's it. Alright, well thank you for coming in. Yeah, pretty sure. Thank you for having me. Alright. Alright, bet. Swear to God, I don't care what's the price at When I got these drugs, let's get right, yeah Yeah, let's get right, yeah Yeah, yeah, yeah. we gon' spend a check on what you like, yeah Swear to God, I don't care what's the price at